the Conservative Party have taken on the UKIP agenda. In fact, I, it rather amused me. I listened to Theresa May's speeches, and um, she was using the same words and phrases that I've been using for the last 20 years. Any trouble is, she didn't believe in it. And I thought one of the most telling points in the whole campaign was when Paxman asked her four times, well, you were a Remainer, you argued that Britain would be better off and stronger and more secure. Have you as changed part of your the mind? And, and, and he said, have you changed your mind? Do you now believe in Brexit? Four times, and she couldn't answer it. So whatever happens in the next few hours, I think the Tory party needs a leader that believes in Brexit. Do you think it's good? I mean, if this exit poll is right, and I have my severe reservations about mm, it at so the moment, but if it is right, and she literally lost 17 seats, there was a hung parliament, she carried on in a sort of minority administration, um, it's, in, it's not conceivable that she'd resign. Is it 11 days before Brexit negotiations start? Well, the Tory party are quite good at getting rid of leaders, aren't yes, they? Yeah. I mean, when it, comes to, when it comes to the knife in the back, the Tories are the real but experts excuse at me, this. Excuse me, pot, kettle. Yeah, no, well, no, I mean, no one ever knife me. No, um, I'm talking about what happened when you <laughs> <laughs> well, you went through all, them like a dose of All sauce. parties have their difficulties. No, I mean, look, I think, I think the takeout from the campaign is that, frankly, she's just no good. She doesn't really believe in anything, and that was where Corbyn, I thought, was so impressive because I don't, I don't agree with it, with his agenda. But he went round the country, and. It was clear he believed in something, and that generated enthusiasm. He went out and met the public. She's just no good at 